Welcome back to Resident Evil 3 for the PlayStation 4. Hi my friends, so here we are in Kendo's gun shop. It's here from Resident Evil 2 as well, that's pretty awesome. We got to see Kendo and we grabbed the key and now we can go ahead and gain access to this door over here which was padlocked, which obviously it wasn't before padlocked in Resi 2, but hey ho, we can now go through here and see where this path leads. Unfortunately Kendo won't be coming with us, it would be pretty nice to invite him along. I see, oh wow you're both getting up, okay and that one's head just did something. Okay, alright, alright. God, just get the heck out of my way, I, what, no, 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 just keep stumbling forward and just... I don't know what the hell was wrong with that thing, but that was terrifying. <laughs> oh my god, and there's another one in here. That thing has got some range. Wow. Stay down this time. Yeah, so that must be what um, Nemesis is doing to them then. Huh, interesting. I don't remember that in the uh, the original. I'm writing to you because I am troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone, who, uh, anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. Yeah, well, not at the moment, that's for sure. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willy, willing to rectify the situation. Yeah, that is a pretty giant head. Um, on a windy day, who knows what could happen. What have we got in here then? Anything nice? Some more ammo possibly? Yeah, look at that. Explosive rounds. Nice. I'm going to try and um, keep as many rounds for the grenade launcher as I possibly can. I kind of... I don't know. I feel like the zombies are not the things to worry about. Okay, it's oddly quiet out here. That's, that's a good thing, right? Right? No! Okay. Whoa! Okay. Alright. What is that? That's not what I think. You have the rocket launcher. rocket launcher. You have a rocket launcher now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. That thing smacks. Put you on danger. Sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> oh, my God. Right into the zombie's trajectory. Uh, where am I going here? Can't go that way. Alright, jump. Oh my god. Now that thing's head's doing something that it shouldn't be doing. Oh, geez, seriously? It's a good thing I brought a first aid spray on me, although I don't know if I'm going to need another one at this rate. That thing can hurt, man. Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you shitting me? I thought you killed him. Me too. Apparently not. If only, right? If only. Oh, geez, stop firing at me. Where the hell am I going? How the hell has she survived so far in this game? She's been so lucky. Honestly, she's made Leon and Claire look unlucky. And they went through hell. Okay, what is that? Oh, another first aid spray. Okay, that's good and bad, right? That is pretty good and bad. Uh, yeah, this area is good. Okay, I guess I'm going this way. So yeah, also in the last episode, we had a uh, official fight with Nemesis. And that was rather fun. Um, and incredibly dangerous as well, like he he killed us once and not surprising really with the fact that he had a flamethrower. I think I know how to slow that fucker down. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? It's okay. Trust me. Okay, yeah, if you're sure about that. I mean, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. But no, I had to be a hero and run away. Okay. 
There's that giant head they were talking about earlier in the uh, in the article. Oh my god, what? 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 No way. No way, no way, no way. Oh my god, that thing is right behind me. It's right behind me. Seriously? Whoever wrote that article foreshadowed that, that's for sure. That head really could have hurt me. Now it's just a bow tie. That's so depressing. Oh my god, where am I even going? Back to the subway. This guy puts you on edge. You can't even think straight. Oh, Carlos, wow. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Oh, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. That's cool. Go! I see what Carlos means now about slowing him down. Didn't really do too much though. The guy's just even more pissed. Nemesis will not take no for an answer. Let's get out of here. That is the best thing you've said all day. Dude has a rocket Carlos, launcher now. I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Yeah, uh, you'll be safe. Can't we take some snacks with us? I what mean, there's a whole uh, newsstand the here. I won't be catching the train. Why not? No, there'll be new orders. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Okay, wow. You got some kind of death wish? Have you seen that thing? Sorry, but Carlos hasn't faced off against that thing officially even once. Good work! Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside, the subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bart. This isn't the last ride out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Shut up, Nikolai. Let's go! You don't really think a pencil pusher like Bart is still alive, do you? I have a done good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? <laughs> Oh wow. How is this fucker okay. not dead yet? Just no. They're gone. Go. This way. Nikolai, what are you doing? It's not after me. <laughs> Nikolai! Oh, you douchebag. Oh no. Get off my train. Shit, Bart! <laughs> that is probably going to be the most awesome line of the entire game. Oh no. I mean, 
mean, you know that's going to happen because obviously in the original he does die as well, but still, you just... No, you don't want him to die. Why couldn't it have been Nikolai? Instead, he runs away and leaves us on our own. We'll get him. We'll get him back for this. Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, I mean, she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. You can tell Carlos is missing Jill already. He likes her. Alright, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? Looks like a cemetery to me. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Wow. This place has completely had it. Playing as Carlos now. Nice. This is good news. Because we have a semi-automatic rifle. <laughs> I'm down with that. Brad, stop! T. What's going on over on, there? Man. Not you too! Oh, wow. Sorry. Sorry! Oh, no. Marvin. That's how he got bit, then. That explains an awful lot. Shit, it's locked! You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Alright, so... Brad didn't get killed by Nemesis there. That's interesting. So he got killed by uh, Zomzoms, by the looks of things. That's kind of like... I don't know. That's a better fate for Brad, but also at the same time it's a bit anticlimactic because that's what I was kind of expecting. It's open! That could be useful. Is there anything actually out here? Is there anything, like, at all? Because I didn't actually get the check back here. Yeah, like down here, for example. Yeah, I got kind of got cut off. Is there actually anything that I can explore? Oh, there is something here. Okay. Ah, oh, too Sorry, soon. Poster boy. Yeah, tell me about it. Email outbox. Send to Lucy Yen. Subject disposal complete. Department in chaos after spread of infection. Multiple citizens taking refuge here are, are infected. All, all files related to you successfully disposed of are waiting further orders. Right, okay. Quest evac has not yet arrived. Figures. Hey. Somebody didn't have time to put his blues on. Yeah, actually, come to think of it, that is that is probably Leon's outfit. Nothing down here apart from like another file and I guess that's probably it. Doesn't seem to be much else here that I can that I can take a look at. Oh yeah, there is. There is something here. Huh, alright. Sure. I'll take some more assault rifle ammo and a red herb. It's a good thing I actually explored that. Doubt I can go through here. No, can't go through here. Okay, yeah, I guess we're going back then. And I'm stoked about this because this is the police station and this is gonna be like a nice little flashback to me playing Resident Evil 2. But it's going to be different in some respects because we're playing as Carlos and we don't know what's going to happen here this time. So I'm very curious about that. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Can Carlos, I take your other take look at rifle? <laughs> I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. 
Hey. Sure. All right. Be careful. Yeah. You too. Man. All right. This is going to be interesting because I don't know what's in this police station. We certainly can't find Marvin, who's normally sitting here, and he's not now. Got herself a full hill. Should we need it? Hopefully not. Mr. X is probably going to come back for his hat at some point. He's left it on there. Maybe that's the uh, the place in which he gets his hat. Who knows? Anyway, yeah, the statue up here is covered up. Area looks clear. Doesn't seem to be anything up here apart from there is something actually up here that I can grab though. What is that? This is so weird. This kind of feels like I, I legit have gone back to Resi 2. But obviously, from the looks of things, there are certain things that I'm going to be able to explore and certain other things that I'm not going to be able to explore. This whole area is clear up here now. It's just some handgun ammo. Wow. Kind of didn't even feel like it was worth it, but who knows? Maybe later on. Hmm. So, this door is presumably going to be locked then, right? Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for bar. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it, yeah. Don't have any of those special keys, unfortunately. There's that. ID card insert here. Oh, Brad, is that is that you pulling through for us? Yeah, nice, okay. We have some assault rifle ammo. And some ID card security protocols, probably telling us how to use this ID card from the looks of things, yeah. Alright, nice. This area is clear as well, and this is the only way that I can actually go from the looks of things. Right, I guess we're going this way then. There's other people here. Oh no. What the hell was that thing? Oh, this all makes perfect sense now. We're seeing things unfold, like we, we now know how that guy got there. Couldn't have been a zombie. There's a fresh blood pouring out of his face as well. Nice little added detail and there's that guy. It's actually still twitching and there's blood pouring out of his mouth. That, that's really, that, that's a nice little touch actually because that just finalizes, you know, the, the detail there that this just Stick happened. Uh, okay, we, we have go. a zombie. Nice. <laughs> I like this gun already. It's powerful from a distance. That's pretty cool. Are you actually dead? No. One would suggest shooting your penis would clarify that. And he is actually in the Oh, God, there it is. Okay. Oh, oh my God, there's so much going on here. The actual hell. Why is there so many zombies? Oh, yeah, it's a police station. Safe. Oh, nice, a flash grenade. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, flash grenade. I'm okay with that. Assault rifle ammo. And uh, locker room T, cap. Yeah, copy? so that, that might actually be the same. I'm here? gonna have to check that out. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. nasty. Alright. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Okay, nothing else in here. Okay, that's that's quite a lot of zombies actually. Oh my god. I need to reload. Definitely need to reload. Three bullets is not going to cover me here. Oh, oh god. There oh my god, there's another one. Seriously. One, two, and right. Stay down. What? How many of you guys are there? Oh, good. That finally. What? There was no way that was a double critical. Was that a double critical headshot? It was. I got two of them with that. That's ridiculous. That's so good. Oh, hey. What? Oh, gee. What? I am surrounded in here. It's actually getting quite alarming because although this gun is powerful, it's gonna run out of ammo eventually. Where's my handgun actually? 
Okay, right, they're definitely down now. Kind of this is actually horrible. Out. There's so many zombies down here. Okay, this area is clear. We have the west office and we have the safety deposit room. That's a point, actually. What am I going to find in there? Safety deposit room. That's where this zombie just came out of, right? Shit. Locked. Oh, okay. Locked. Huh. All right. Sure. It's interesting. Okay, you're up. You're just crawling. I'm not. I'm not wasting my assault rifle on you. Okay, is that is that you? Definitely done. No. All right. I get it. You're ambitious. I respect that. What is that a, a scope? Ooh, a scope. Yeah, I'm taking that. Absolutely. What has that done for us? Oh, that's so much better. Okay, that's 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 pretty awesome. Assault rifle ammo, nice, very very nice. Okay. Anything else in here? We have a safe. A safe in which I can actually open. Don't remember the combination to that safe though. I may have to come back for that. this. A red herb. Cool. Alright, so we've now got two full hills should I need it. The game is throwing quite a lot of ammunition and herbs at me. Leon's desk. It's pretty cool. Obviously locked because uh, we haven't come here as Leon yet. And there's something else in here I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a file. Okay, an arrest report. Huh. Alright, I'll just flick through this real quickly and uh, I'm going to try and figure out how to get that safe open. There's obviously a file in here somewhere. A battery was removed from one detonation device. In the safety deposit room. Okay, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a battery, aren't I? Cool. Why wouldn't I need a battery? Wouldn't be a Resident Evil game without a battery. No zombie at that window yet. Nothing around here. Okay, this is still a save room, right? Yes, it is. All right. Internal memo. Um, move from Star's office. Ah, oh, okay. Nine fifteen seven. That's good. That is really good. I might actually go and do that now. I mean, to get the combination that early. That's that's pretty handy. With cameras I don't want to have to go back later on. Nothing in there from the looks of things. And in the lockers, any interesting stuff? Another red herb, cool. Alright. I think that locker used to be a uh, outfit changing locker in the original. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I seem to recall that for some reason. And I think because we're having like a pretty okay run here at the moment, I think anyway. I mean, we've done okay, we haven't taken much damage, and still have a fairly decent portion of ammo. I'm kind of hoping that, um, that we'll be okay here, so I will save. Oh, uh, yes. Definitely going to stay down, aren't you? Hopefully. You'll be a good boy. Um, okay, what was that? <laughs> what was that again? Left 9157. Alright, cool. That's pretty generous of the game to do that. Oh wow, that was overly generous, actually. A hip pouch. Yes, I'm glad I came back for that. So, yeah, this room is now clear as well. I guess I'm going upstairs now then. I didn't go that way just yet. Copy that. Yeah, I know it's up ahead, but I'm, I'm wondering about the the next floor. Okay, yeah, definitely wondering about the next floor. Oh, 
can't take no for an answer, you guys. Okay. So, anything in particular actually up here then? Yeah, there is actually something up here. Ah, okay, a key. A key, alright, yeah, that... That actually makes some... Some form of sense. Okay, is this one the same as it is in Resi 2? Yes, it is. Okay, so we can gain access to this early as well. What exactly did I even pick up just then? Looked like more ammo. Yeah, we have a key, and this wall is uh, is fine. So something obviously happens here later on. No doubt, probably Nemesis or Mr. X or something that wants to destroy everything. I have an auto save for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I'm sure there was a zombie here. I am so sure there was a zombie there. Oh! There you are, what? Okay. Alright. Okay. Nice and slowly into the safety deposit room where I'm going to be safely deposited. Oh, shit. There is nobody in here normally. It's in the word. Safety. What is that? Oh, there's the locker combination for anyone that was wondering. I've now got a liquor to contend with. Uh, okay, we still have this. There's not actually anything in it though, is it? There is. There's the battery, of course, yeah. More ammo and a grenade. I'm taking that. Can't use Brad's card on this from the looks of things. I can get rid of that key now. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything on this side, actually. Okay, so what do we have here? We had nine, six, and four. Can I actually do that, then? I can. Huh. Never say no to free stuff, am I right? And then we had 106. And then we had 109 as well. Oh. Yeah, we'll leave uh, the harder combinations for Leon and Claire another time. <laughs> Thankfully the game appreciated how much trouble we went through to get those buttons in the last uh, game. So we have our battery. Why now? That music is really, really, really unsettling, especially with the zombie on the other side, which I always feel like he's just gotten up without me knowing. I am going to do another safety shot just to be on the safe side here. Okay, yeah, he's definitely not getting up. Can I phone the police? <laughs> Alright. This is not comforting for my mental health. Okay, this guy is gone. Why is he gone? Ah! Did you have to do that to me, game? Did you have to do that, really? Where are you going? You going to the save room to save the game, are you? Get over it. Okay, I'm actually surprised that the liquor isn't running after me. It makes me feel like he's actually gone. But why did he come, like, why did he leave as quick as he came? Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? Don't know, that was exactly what I was thinking in Resi 2, all the time. What is this? Copy that. Right. Okay. And this is a note to friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Oh. <laughs> if you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. Oh, this is about the... Oh, this is about the battery. That's the... Wait, so this is the guy that was in here, then? Better not. Better not, yeah. And obviously this is the one that we came past uh, before, on our way up here. This was Cap, the locker room. Flash grenade, yep, always good. 
anything in there? Nope, nothing at all, in fact. A green herb and something still apparently in the shower room. Not exactly sure what, I can't seem to see anything unless it's in here. Ah, an electronic gadget. That's for you then. Got a bad feeling about this. Something always happens when you use the detonator in a Resident Evil game. Three seconds, yeah. Move. It's a good idea. Three friggin' seconds. Oh yeah, I see him. I see zombies. -zoms. That's a lot of zombies. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why is there so many of them here? Oh jeez. What the actual hell? Time, take a number. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Um, okay. That's... That's a lot of danger in one room. Um, and my rifle needs to be reloaded. What? You are kidding me, right? First aid spray. Anything in there? Assault rifle ammo? Great. Oh, what the actual hell's going on? Oh, freaking hell. You are joking. You are actually joking. Oh, wow. That was insane. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. This will take some time. Oh. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. First aid spray in Rebecca's pouch. <laughs> Always check that. There's an iron box. Whoa, okay. Let me store some of those away, I guess, and... Uh... I'm gonna go ahead and reload my rifle. <laughs> I can't believe how dangerous that room was. There was like like eight zombies in there. Got my flash grenade back at least. Plenty of these cases around though, which is good. I suppose if you leave Brad you'd miss out on quite a lot, wouldn't you? And actually that is the last one, so you get three cases out of that then. Um, something apparently still in here. There's a crate outside and there's 20 assault rifle ammo, but I couldn't grab any of that because I was being pummeled left, right and centre by zombies and a liquor. That liquor was rude though, man. That really was. Throwing that liquor at me at the last minute. Uh, okay, we have a red herb here. Alright. Star's office is now clear. Anything in Wesker's office? Yep. Is that Jill in the front row? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a really nice little throwback. Report on the mansion incident. Whoa, that's, that is a throwback. 
Nice. Okay, I don't see a typewriter in here, so I can't save my game. Um, right, uh, let's see about this liquor then. Yeah, what's I've up? I've got a cutscene. Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, yeah. oh, shit. Wait, what? what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. What about the liquor and the zombies? He just walked out there like it was nothing. So, wait, am I not gonna have to deal with that then? I don't think I need to deal with that. It's taken me out of the, uh, out of the police station section from the looks of things. Can you skip all of those zombies? If you can get around them like that? Yes, you can. Wow, no way. Am I playing as Jill now again? But well, that also means that I can't pick up the stuff that I left behind, so that's obviously really important to try and grab what you can but then saying that I only probably left behind ammo from the looks of things anyway and I would have used up a lot more than 20 rifle bullets on the, uh, the zombies so maybe I did the right thing by barging past them just then I can't believe Nikolai running away and leaving us like that Oh, there's a typewriter. There we go. There's a typewriter. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Is that acid rounds? Is that acid rounds? Mine rounds. Oh, you can't make these, can you? What do they actually do? Ammo for a grenade launcher flies to its target using its own propulsion system. Detonates after a short period of time or if approached. That's actually amazing. That could be so useful. Weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you. That is... That's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. Alright, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or on the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect anything approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically just toss them in an enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks, so get out there and fight dirty. You know what, I'm actually going to keep that for Nemesis because that's actually indeed perfect. If he's charging after me, I am throwing that thing his way. I'm going to go ahead and pop those away. Keep my first aid spray that I'm about to pick up, but I might actually mix these up while I'm at it. We have a full hill here now. Um, I might keep the mine rounds then. I'm starting to learn that this game is giving you stuff right before the time you need it. I was given the flame rounds right before the gammas and that seemed to work. Now I have uh, mine rounds and I can only think of it working against Nemesis or something really big that we're about to face. So um, I'm going to go ahead and reload everything. And I think we're probably good for whatever's about to come. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Is that this room clear? Yes it is, and I'm going to go ahead and save. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.